So next we're gonna talk about drafting comments. So I guess the first question is, what is a comment in this in LinkedIn? So when somebody posts on LinkedIn, when somebody posts something on LinkedIn, you have the ability to like that post. And I'll, I'll log into LinkedIn right now and kind of show you that in real time. You have the ability to like a post and you have the ability to comment on a post as well. So if I go into LinkedIn and I'm just on the feed over here and a, a post will show up. You see Marie's post showed up. I scroll down, I see an ad. Um, I see a picture of myself. I see this person, Sigal Barnes posted something and she even commented on her own post. So you see, I'm gonna I'm gonna like this post. I can like the post. I'm engaging with the post when I like it. If I see Travis, he posted something over here about Olympic athletes. He liked it. Now I want to also leave a comment. There are only nine comments on this post, and if I leave a comment, not only will the author notice me, but all their all their connections will notice me as well. A, a like, you don't really notice who liked because you're not gonna click on here to see who liked, but the comments you're going to notice because a lot of the times people like to read comments. So if I click on this AI tool that we created called evi.ai and I change the goal, for example, provide value, and I change the tone, for example, make it informative, the tone informative, I press generate, it'll then read the post, send it with the API. So you don't have to log into ChatGPT. It'll send it using the API into ChatGPT and it'll give you an output. As an entrepreneur and former athlete myself, I couldn't agree more with your insights, Travis. The dedication, discipline, and competitive mindset developed through sports are invaluable in the business world. I played soccer growing up, and the lesson that resonates with me most today is the importance of playing a long game. Building a successful business requires patience, persistence, and blah, blah, blah. Do you see that? I'm giving him a thing. I played soccer, and I'm going to say, and football. Football growing up in yeshiva. You see? And the lessons that are, I'm say, by the way, love the picture. Boom. Okay, and I'm going to tag him. So this way he gets notified. You see, I, I click the ad sign and I press post. Now, if I had to write that comment myself, it would have taken me five minutes to write that comment. I have to think about what to say. I would spell check and edit and deal with the whole thing. But with AI, I just spent about five seconds generating the comment and about another five seconds editing it. And then I posted it and have a good day. I customized it. So there's no way for him to know that I actually used artificial intelligence to write this because artificial intelligence doesn't necessarily know that I went to yeshiva and that I played football and all that stuff. But, and the fact that I wrote boom and the fact that I tagged him, AI is not gonna tag somebody. It doesn't know how to tag it. And so the way that I, I use this tool, and it saved all the information up here. So if you go into the recent activities, you can see. And by the way, when I sent um, Elizabeth an invitation, it typed out the invitation too. So you can see all the activity that I've done over here, and it actually saves your activity. That's one of the things that I love about these tools, that it can save activity. So commenting on LinkedIn is extremely beneficial. Now, there are many places to comment. You can comment, for example, if I want to comment on Dan's recent posts, I can go to Dan. I could look up his profile, and this is how you do this. A lot of people don't know how to do this. You click on Dan's profile, and I highly recommend you go through Dan's posts because Dan is posting all the time. He has really great content. So I would bookmark Dan's posts, and then on a daily basis, what I can do is I can scan through, and especially if I want to be top of mind with him, I would see all his posts. I can click down here, show all posts, and I can see last chance to join this thing, last chance to an incredible masterclass AI with LinkedIn. If you struggle writing content, it begins in an hour. So I'm going to give it a like, of course, because it's my own thing. And then I'm going to give it a little uh, comment over here. I'm going to change the tone to be more friendly. And I'm going to hit generate. And as you can see, it reads the post. And it, it'll write an entire thing. Hi, Dan. Thank you for sharing the masterclass. So oh, it's great to see the opportunity to learn content creation, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate the value session can bring to people. I've registered. I'm looking forward. I'm going to say to presenting. I'm looking forward to to presenting and sharing insights. Okay, thank you again for this valuable resource. Okay, so now I kind of modified it just a bit. I'm also tagging Dan over here. Now it didn't come up with his name, so I got to search for it. Uh, okay, I clicked on him and I pressed post and now it tagged him and it wrote this detailed post and I modified it a little bit. Remember what Dan said earlier, you have to read it and make sure that what it's saying is actually relevant 
And so I spent five seconds reading it, made a modification, and have a good day. Now, one of the one of the beauties about this is that if this if this comment is a really great comment, and I like the comment, I can take this comment and turn it into a post with one click. LinkedIn has a feature. Do you see the repost feature over here? I could click on repost and I can lead the conversation by turning my comment into a post. So not only does it create comments for you, but because the comment is so meaty and so professional, I can then take that comment and repurpose it as a post and schedule it for later as well. So AI can really help you a tremendous amount and it can really help you grow your business. Now, of course, you have the ability to add, um, to add custom prompts inside the tool as well. So for example, if you want to um, chat GPT, if you want to comment about content related to chat GPT, let's say you were like me, you had an AI course and you click on posts and you're searching for comment related to chat GPT, posts related to chat GPT, um, what you can do is you can search either a hashtag or something else, and then you can leave comments related to that. So for example, David Ho posted, I use chat GPT, blah, blah, blah. So now I can click on comment and I can stay top of mind in a conversation with someone that I may not even be connected to, but is talking about a topic in my business, that'll help me also stay top of mind. So I'm gonna change this to more of a professional tone. I'm gonna press generate. It's gonna read Dan Ho's post on LinkedIn that he posted yesterday. Great job. Now it said, great job, Joe. So I'm gonna say, make the comment uh, under 15 words and it's written by Joe, okay? Let me hit generate and see what it does. Impressive work, author name. <laughs> I messed it up. So impre impressive work, author name. So I'm gonna fix that over here. For some reason, it didn't pick up the author name. It's not perfect. I'm gonna write David. Your use of generative AI without coding is inspiring. Do you see that? It made it short, cute, and to the point. And I just did it like that. Um, so sometimes there are placeholders that AI will create. You just fill in those placeholders. Sometimes it'll actually pick it up, depending on the privacy settings of the person and what's available inside the actual page. But as you can see, if I wanted to promote my ChatGPT tool, I can just drop an unlimited amount of comments because the tool gives you the ability to leave unlimited comments. So that's extremely powerful and highly, highly recommended. And the more you customize it, the better your prompts the better the tool will be. Now, you can also use Google Bard to create generic comments for you. So if you want to use Google Bard, you can say create 10 generic comments for me to use on LinkedIn posts. And you press enter and it'll create a bunch of generic comments for you that you can use and you can save those generic comments in a file so that later you can just use those generic comments quickly. So whether you want to create generic comments in your industry, whether you want to create customized comments, you can use AI tools to help you do that. Um, Susan said, evi.ai specifically uses on LinkedIn or other places. It specifically works for LinkedIn and it's eviai.com, not evi.ai. It's eviai.com, just FYI. Ross said, is there a threat that AI creation will drown people in content in the future? AI creation will create more content. More people will be using it. But I don't think that it's going to drown people with content. It's going to take the content that people customize and it's going to make it more powerful. And the garbage content that's going to be out there, people are going to learn to ignore. Just like you get 300 emails a day, 290 of them are spam. You learn to ignore those spam emails, right? You look at who wrote it, and do you look at the context right away in the subject line and you learn to quickly delete emails? By the way, how many emails are you guys getting a day? You're getting tons of garbage emails, right? I don't know about you, but I sometimes get 500 emails. So if you learn how to customize your posts and you use AI to draft it, use AI to brainstorm, use AI to research, you use AI to strategize, you're going to use AI correctly. So the key is not to just spam. And most people are going to try to spam. It's not going to work and they're going to give up. People try to spam, it doesn't work, and then they give up. And so what I want you to do is use AI to draft it because it's much easier to edit than it is to write from scratch. Stephen King wrote a book called On Writing. Have you guys ever read On Writing? On Writing is a really great nonfiction book. He wrote many fiction books, one of the most popular fiction writers. He wrote a nonfiction book called On Writing. One of the things that he says is, he says, 
Uh, writing is human. Editing is divine. So writing is human. It's never going to be perfect when you write, but when you edit it, it's going to be perfect. So if you just act like a human and grab AI content and post it, it's going to suck. Instead, if you want to sound divine, make sure to edit your content and make it sound like you. Make sure to edit your prompts and train the AI on how to make it sound more like you. And one of the things that I like to do with AI is say, use more simple language. Speak to a five-year-old, speak to a 10-year-old, because that's how humans speak. The philosophical AI language that it uses is usually way too philosophical for people and they know that it's AI. It's way too fancy. Lower down the fancy. Let's eat tacos. Let's go crazy. <laughs>